hello viewers welcome back in this video we'll discuss how to add and configure digital input output basic and standard module to add click the plc folder then double click on device configuration it will open the device view in this project only plc controller is available to add other module click the hardware catalog from top right corner it will open all the available module for this controller so click di folder to add di module here di 16 into 24 volt dc ba for basic hf for high fissure and SRCBA means sourcing basic input module sourcing and syncing digital input module you can see my other video about details of sourcing and syncing so add basic module click this subfolder and click on this part number it will show all possible slot number where you can place so drag and drop your desired position i am place this module to place two or slot two now i am hidden this other catalog now double click on this module it will open the properties of this module from this properties you can choose here from here project information here you can choose the module name that here di 16 into 24 volt dc basic underscore one so if you have 30 40 module that time it is not easy to find out the module where your desired physical connection is connected actually so if all of your signal from the compressor is connected to this module you can give a name as a compressor compressor so from this compressor module you can easily find out now from the catalog information you can see that digital input output module input module delay time is 3.2 millisecond that means after getting 24 volt dc in this module from the field it will give a true or one signal in your user program after 3.2 millisecond you can choose your own time if you choose the high fissure module you can choose the delay time up to 20 millisecond from 0 0.5 maybe millisecond okay from this change firmware you can choose the firmware version by default it will take the latest firmware if you click on this change firmware here you can see that you can see here the earlier version of this firmware module firmware so keep as default that firmware version is 1.1 .1. from here you can give the plant designation or location identifier it is not mandatory actually now go to module parameter that it will open the startup condition of your module so by default it is from cpu during the cpu configuration you have seen that startup condition that you can choose uh, here that uh, startup even cpu is mismatched so if you keep it from cpu it will take that 
setting or you can give this setting from here also okay next thing is di configuration here those uh, configuration you cannot given by for basic module so leave those all now go for input 0 to 15 go down here is general failure this is a good configuration that you can choose but for input module you cannot choose but for output module you can choose so during the output module configuration i will show you now io address from this io address by default it will take the lowest start address here start address is 0 and in the address is 1 actually this is a byte number this is a byte number because it is a 16 bit input so there are two byte one is byte from 0 another is 1 so 0 0.02 0 0.7 and 1.0 1.7 so from start 0 0.0 to 1.7 there is all the signal for this module you can choose it for 10 also or you can choose other but you you should use the lowest input address now i am giving it back to zero so here another is organization block you can choose from this three dot that which organization block will execute this in input module here by keep it as it is that it is automatic three dot select three dot that it is automatic it will choose the decision by cpu okay so next tab is io tag you can give a tag name of your input i0.0 .0 here that ready compressor compressor okay or run okay you can choose that also you can choose from you can rename this tag name from here from here that local start local start of compressor local start compressor so it will take here also so here it came so if you zoom it if you zoom it you can choose, check the tag name here also here you can see the tag name here also ok and say third tab is con system constant this is the system constant harder in identification it is not required all the time sometimes it's required to configure or communication with other you need this harder identification later i will make a video about this i am zooming out 200 percent okay okay now i am adding there is no standard module so i am go to output module i will first add the stand basic module drag and drop now double click it will most the setting is same as digital input module like here you can give a name of this module here you can see the information of your module here you can select the startup condition of your module also dq here you can give a address of your output here okay also you can give a name of this command start command start cmd command so you can see it will um, start command from this module 
okay system constant also same thing like this now we'll add standard module from catalog drag and drop okay hiding this catalog now double click here some extra feature that is not available for basic so i am going from the general tab you can give a name here same as basic this also catalog information you can see that there are 4 ampere per group ok 16 bit so 8 8 bit is a 1 group so total uh, is 4 ampere 8 into 0.5 means 4 ampere so per group you can use up to 4 ampere from this output module also you can change the firmware version from here now go to module parameter this is also same thing as basic now go to channel template this is extra feature it is not available for basic that channel template if you configure this channel template it will be same for all 16 output module that by default it is shut down that is when your CPU going to stop or you generate stop by your choose that time what will happen your output module it will you can choose that last value that before the CPU stop the status it will keep after CPU stop also you can give a this setting for value will be 1 and this is good for some process that suppose a one solenoid valve that is operating a damper or actuator if the solenoid valve going to stop or de-energized that time your um, actuator will closed and your process may hampered during the CPU failure so you can use as a last value or you can use as a substitute value as your requirement so going to output configuration that here configuration here you can choose your channel template that is it is output is substitute here is output is substitute so if you keep it last below from your template here see from template it is keep last below so you can choose for individual channel by keeping it like um, by setting it manual you can choose it from here so you can set the last value for individual output also individual individual channel okay and here you can choose that no supply voltage l plus or short circuit sometimes your output ground output is shorted you can choose this to diagnosis or make a alarm if you use this use this ob block here then in this ob block you can program and generate you can generate the diagnosis error so this diagnosis error you can choose that l plus no supply voltage or uh, less than your 19 volt or required volt so to diagnosis your channel you can choose this two option okay and IO addresses this is I start address 2 because in position 3 we have used 0 and 1 here is 3 okay there is extra option is isochronous mode this isochronous mode is not available for basic and standard mode 
module it is available for high pressure module so during the configuration of high pressure module i will discuss about this isochronous mode and this is same for other okay thank you this is all about basic and standard module thank you